What's up, you guys? This is Khan Chung from Concept Barbershop in San Jose, California. Welcome back to another haircut tutorial. Today we have a very special guest. This is Andre. He watched some of my videos on YouTube all the way in Houston, Texas. And he had an internship out here in Silicon Valley. And he stopped by the shop. Really cool guy. Was uh, really great to have the opportunity to cut his hair. Today we're doing a number one and a half with the grain taper. All right, so what I'm doing right here is I'm showing you how to find the spiral in the head, the swirl in the head, so that when you go with the grain, you're following the growth pattern of the hair. All right, so the little spiral is right there, right by where I'm pointing, right there, and it's going in that direction, and that's the direction that you want to cut the hair in. And right now I'm using a fast fee with the Andis Master, Fay Masters, Fay Blade. I'm using the fast fee based on request. A viewer asked me to use the fast fee, so I'm doing it. It was great. It's one of my favorite clippers. It's one that I started out with back in barber school. And right now I'm putting on the one guard and I'm opening it to the halfway point. All right, and I'm starting right there where the swirl is, and I'm going with the growth pattern of the hair all right so sometimes you might get it confused and you think that going with the grain just means going straight down towards the neck and straight back towards the forehead which is true in most cases but it's not always correct because the the swirl the growth pattern of the hair is not always simple like that it sometimes goes in many different direction Going with the grain means you're following the growth pattern of the hair. And that's what I'm doing right here. To, to help you determine the pattern, you find the swirl, you comb it out, and then it will show you the growth pattern. Alright, so right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm cutting the hair and I'm taking long strokes and I'm lifting up away from the head. And I'm placing it back down on the head and I'm repeating that step. Down, up and away, down, up and away, down, up and away. Because you don't want to go back and forth. Because that would mess up his waves and that would cut the hair really bad. You don't want to go back and forth. You want to do long strokes, down, up and away from the head. Put the clipper back down. Go down, up and away and repeat down, up and away. Make sure you hold the, the ears down because those guards are really sharp and it could, you know, hurt the client. So here's a good look at it. It's down, up, and away. Back down, up, and away. All right? So that's the going with the grain method. All right? So most clients ask for with the grain if they're, they plan on keeping their waves. All right? If, oh, this is also called the wavelength. If they ask for wavelength, it's usually the number one with the grain. And it's the same thing on the other side. All right. Make sure you protect the client and hold his ears. This is what I want you guys to pay attention to right here is how I hold the clipper when you're going forward towards the forehead. All right. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and start on the neck taper. And you know... <clears throat> I usually do my neck taper with the um, the rainbow upside down U shape. All right there, the reason why I do the, the little upside down U guy line right there is because you want to keep the, the, the hair on the side of the head a little darker. So when you line it up, it pops out even more. All right, so that's why I'm going to keep that shape right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the, the clipper about a quarter of the way and I'm going up about a quarter of an inch determining it's all based on the client's head if he got a really big head then you would go a little bit more than a quarter of an inch but if he have a really small head you you might want to go a little less than a quarter of an inch it's all based on the client's head eventually as you're blending upward uh, th that curvature line starts to straighten out a little bit all right it doesn't have to be uh, a U all the way up to the top. It can slowly start to taper out. And after I blend all of the uh, the no guard 
all the way open. Now I'm with the, the zero guard. All right, and it's the same step. Clipper all the way closed. And every time I open it, it's about a quarter of the way. And I'm going up about a quarter of an inch. All right. All right, so after the, and you should comb a lot because while you're cutting, you're actually messing up the hair and it throws it out of place. So you comb it back into place so that you can see what you're doing. You can see what you're you're working with. All right, because as I'm cutting up, I'm actually messing the hair and I'm not really seeing how it truly reacts to it. So now I got to comb it back into place and then I cut again. Cut, comb it back in place, cut again. And repeat. All right. That's why it's always good to have a, a comb in your left hand or your non-cutting hand. <clears throat> All right. And then, you know, you just keep doing that until you go up into the one guard. And the one guard, you should be able to blend it out with the one guard. All right. So I was really happy to cut Andre right here. His name's Andre, by the way. Um, because it was really cool. Like I was telling them, I really appreciate doing barbering because I get to meet people from all walks of life, from all different places of the United States and even in the world, you know. So this is something I really enjoy doing. Um, I get The more people I meet from all different walks of life, the more I'm exposed to different cultures and different opinions and it's just really cool to hear everybody's take on stuff so that's one thing that i really do um enjoy about barbering all right so right here i'm doing the uh the side taper and it's the same method as the neck taper you see it's a little bit of a upside down u and i'm using mostly the the corner of the clipper when you're working with a little space like that like the sideburns you get more control over what you're doing if you you you're if you just use the corner of the clipper all right instead of the full blade cuz if you're using the full blade it'll probably cut out more than what you intend on cutting out so it's just a little space uh work with less cutting blade you know so that's pretty much using the corner of the clipper and it's the same technique really. I started out with just the clipper, no guard, all the way closed. I make the little upside down U. I work it up, move the lever about a quarter of an inch. I go up about a quarter of an inch until I work the whole lever out. And then now I'm on the zero guard and it's the same step. You repeat it. It doesn't change. It's the same step. All right. It's pretty, uh, once you have this system down, it's very simple. Because it's the same thing. It repeats over and over. Now what makes you a good barber. What makes a barber good. Is his uh, attention to detail. How persistent is he. How thorough is he or she. I mean. You know you got to be thorough. You got to be very. Uh, it's almost like a perfectionist. Type of personality. You want. You know. You want to get every hair that stands out. So that's what I think will separate a good barber. From a bad barber as far as the quality of the haircut. Alright, so now right now I'm using the one guard. And it's the same step. Uh, clipper all the way closed. And right here what I'm doing is I'm going with the grain again. So sometimes when you're doing the taper and you notice that it's starting to get pretty high. And you don't want it to get any higher but yet you still need to blend. You would go with the um, start to go with the grain going downward with the grain so what that does is it will help cut the bulk down but it won't take the height up any higher all right and sometimes when you're cutting curly hair there's a lot of hair just standing up fizzing out everywhere so this is one way to take it down again so what i'm doing right here is i'm about to get ready to line them up and before you line him up, you want to comb out his hair just to see what his true hairline looks like. Comb everything downward. All right. See what you're working with. And again, like always, you start right in the middle. You're, I'm face to face with Andre and I'm looking at him face to face. And by doing that, I can see his whole hairline. 
all right and i know what size higher and what size lower and i always start in the middle i set my little starting point and i believe um his right side is higher so i'm gonna go towards his right which is our left all right so if you notice i'm still face to face with him all right i don't move my face don't move the only thing that's moving are my hands all right my hands and my eyes the reason why you still want to stay face to face with him is so that your your starting point your point of reference doesn't shift it doesn't change because if you start moving to the left or to the right as you're lining them up uh, your point of reference will change which will cause your hairline your lineup to be a little off that was my girlfriend by the way she's also a barber a great barber uh, I wish I had more uh, workers like her she's a really hard worker a very uh, great barber with a lot of great customer service but you know we can't work together because that's too much time together and that's what we both decided on you all right so right now again like i said i'm i'm still face to face with him and only my hands are moving and now i'm doing the when you do the side of the head then you can move then you can sh change position and go to the side so that you can line them up all right so you want to make it crispy but you don't want to push it back too much that's the that's the hard part right there that's the dilemma all right you want a crispy sharp but you don't want to push them back too far all right again now i'm gonna go to the to the right side which is his left I, again i start right in the middle all right i look at him straight on and i when you do that you have a better view of what you're dealing with all right so i start in the middle and slowly I move my hand to the right. All right. And that's how you keep the hairline straight. All right. And this is the back hand right here. Just line up. It's hard to see, but um, just line up the side of his head. And my other hand is just holding him in place so that he doesn't move. You know, when you're lining somebody up, you want to keep them very still. So after you do the first lineup, you want to comb his hair and you want to line him up again. It might sound tedious and it might, but you know, again, this is will separate a good barber from an average barber. The extra work, the extra detail. You see, I, I line him up already, but I'm going to go back, comb his hair so that the, because sometimes when you're lining them up, some of the hair might get moved around, you know, but in actuality, if you comb it down, those hair will come right back over the lineup so those are the hairs you want to cut all right so right now i'm gonna line them up uh, with hooks right here all right and it's i'm just using the corner of the detailer and i'm going little at a time little dabs little little cuts at a time just little dab dab dabs dab dab at a time all right and then eventually it will come to you you will see it all right, a little bit at a time, just the corners. You always want to hold on to the client so they don't move. In this case, I'm, I'm using his ears to keep them in place. You want to put a hand on them to let them know that you're there and that they know not to move. All right, so that's the hooks right there. And now the back of the hairline, the back of the ears. So what I did right there is I, I set the highest point. That's the highest point of the curvature. And I'm going outwards towards the beard. All right. And then when, when you go outwards, you're using the right side of the corner of the clipper. All right. And when you're going left, you're using the left side of the clipper. See right there, I'm using the right corner of the clipper. And now that I'm going back, I'm using the left corner of the clipper. All right, and again, it's the same thing like the hooks. I'm using little cuts, little dabs at a time, small little cuts. Dab, 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 a little bit at a time. Step away just to see what you're dealing with. All right, a little bit at a time. Boom, there it is. All right, a little bit at a time until you take it all the way down to the neck. This is what will make your taper pop right there. Getting these lines right. Alright, you see the taper come out more after you line them up. 
The lineup, like I said, is the most important thing to a haircut, in my opinion. It can save a bad blend or it can ruin a good blend. See, this is what I think is important right here. Sometimes clients don't know to ask you to do blend out their beers and stuff. You know, and sometimes they don't ask for beer work. But as a barber and as a friend to clients, you know, you want to put in the extra work. You don't want them to walk out with uh, a taper and then a beer just banging out. You know, you want to just trim it down a little bit for them. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going back and I'm touching up on the taper. Uh, because after you line them up, your mistakes pop out even more. So you go back, you do touch up. And then now I'm doing the um, the lineup. The most important lineup, in my opinion, is this one right here. The one behind the ear. That's what's going to make your everything pops out. All right. It's a little difficult, but you should try to get that that little uh, razor part down. And after I'm done with that, I'm going back. Sometimes you see barbers using really big scissors to do this. And so what they're doing is they're cutting all the loose hair sticking up. It's the same idea, except I'm using my clipper and I'm going with the grain. And I'm just gliding over his hair. All right, just to cut all the loose hair. And so there it is. I'm pretty much done with it. All right, he has really nice waves, and the, the the taper looks really nice after you line them up, and it really pops. Thank you, guys. Love you. I'll see you guys next time.